the new developments just a short time ago, the president signaling he might be willing to reopen the government for three weeks while they continue to debate his border wall. At this hour, Republican and Democratic leaders in the Senate are trying to broker some sort of a deal. The White House had initially said late today that the president would reopen the government for a time if there was a significant down payment on the wall. But a short time later, with our John Carl in the room, the president signaled that down payment was just one idea. So is there movement tonight? Our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off. Compromise brewing? Tonight, President Trump told us he is open to a temporary deal to reopen the government and didn't rule out supporting it, even without money for his border wall. Would, 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 you, would you be open to temporary spending without money for the wall? Would you just, just to reopen the Well, government? I wouldn't be happy with it. I wouldn't be happy. But we have a lot of alternatives. Even if it has no wall money? Or does it have to have wall I, money? I only, look, look, uh, I have other alternatives if I have to. And I'll use those alternatives if I have to. Uh, we want to go through the system. Uh, we have to have a wall in this country. This comes less than 24 hours after the president backed down from his showdown with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi over his State of the Union address. Now the president told us the speaker's demand that the speech be delayed until after the shutdown is over is, quote, reasonable. What she said I thought was actually reasonable. Uh, we'll have the State of the Union when the shutdown is over. And when do you think that's going to be? That I can't tell you. That I can't tell you, but we have a lot of alternatives, but we need border security. The president's comments on day 34 of the shutdown come amid new accusations that the White House is turning a blind eye to the 800,000 federal employees about to miss another paycheck. People like these Coast Guard workers lining up at a food pantry in Connecticut. How about mac and cheese for the kids? Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross is under fire for these comments earlier today. There are reports that there are some federal workers who are going to homeless shelters to get food. Well, I know they are, and I don't really quite understand why. The 30 days of pay that some people will be out, there's no real reason why they shouldn't be able to get a loan. Democrats are calling Ross, who is a billionaire, a modern-day Marie Antoinette. They have a, a Wilbur Ross saying he doesn't understand why. When he was asked about people going into food lines and pantries and the rest, he says I, he, he doesn't understand why they have to do that. I don't know, is this the let them make cake kind of attitude or call your father for money? Of course, all of this developing as we come on the air tonight. John Carl live at the White House. And John, the president says Senate leaders uh, from both parties are trying to hash out some sort of a deal tonight. But as we saw right there, Speaker Nancy Pelosi also holds some of the cards here. And tonight she's indicated that she does not support this idea of reopening the government with a down payment for the border wall to reopen. Speaker Pelosi continues to insist, David, that money for the border wall should not be part of any agreement to reopen the government. But at the same time, you have the president insisting that the wall must be built one way or the other. He said several times today that there are alternatives. And White House officials tell me tonight that one of those alternatives still under consideration is trying to bypass Congress by declaring a national emergency. David? Many moving parts. All right, John Carl, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.